All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start coloring our wafer paper. So what we have here is our vegetable oil, uh, just a plain cup, a paintbrush, something to scoop up your paint, a dropper, a napkin, and what I have here for using black is called activated charcoal. You can get this on Amazon, and I'll also link that on the link below, and our wafer paper. So we have two sides of wafer paper. The rough side and then you have the smooth side so in order to color wafer paper you're going to use the smooth side to make it have like a very sleek finish so we're just going to add a little bit at a time of our powder um, our charcoal powder and then we are going to add just a little bit of our vegetable oil as well you don't want to go too much with it because you just want to start very slowly just to see where this goes um, so just get your dropper and use a little bit of your uh, vegetable oil and just add it mixed into your charcoal paint um, and then we can start brushing along the sides. If you guys don't have vegetable oil you can definitely use a flavorless oil such as sunflower oil um, hemp oil or even coconut oil as well um, something that just doesn't have any flavor to it and you can add that for any of your um, colors or whatever you are deciding to use for your wafer paper so you can see here I only mixed a little bit of our oil or I'm sorry of our vegetable oil and I mixed it really well to get it to a very creamy texture and once you have that you can see that you can get a really nice dark color um, and it looks really nice so it makes it kind of look like a little bit of a watercolor in a sense but uh, you can go and just continue on with one um, stroke and or you can go with two strokes to go into depth color and uh, you can decide whatever you want to do here so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this until I get the the color amount that I want for my wafer paper As you can see here, I'm already completely done of coloring my paper the way that I want it. And it looks really nice and sleek and smooth. So this is the way that I like to color my, one of the ways that I like to color my wafer paper. Another way to color wafer paper is without the oil. So this you can get pearl dust, fluster dust, and you can get this at your uh, supply store, a craft store like Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby and so I like to, um, this is a product that I actually got from Mexico and it's really really good to make it may look like a very watercolor based um, paper so I just get a little bit of my powder, brush it onto the other side of the lid and I kind of smooth it out and you can see it's a very light um, color like very without the oil um, because obviously the paper is not absorbing any oil whatsoever it's just absorbing color just powder so it really looks really watercolor ish so if you want to be making roses or something that is um, like the ocean theme I think this is pretty cool to to use as any well actually it is really good with just using any kind of theme
And there you guys have it, two ways to color wafer paper. One with vegetable oil or some type of flavorless oil and or using your colored powder. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So until next time guys, bye!